नमस्ते वेलकम अगेन टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द एसर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट 2018 पेपर फिजिक्स सेक्शन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग सेवेंथ एम सी क्यू फ्रॉम फिजिक्स ओवरऑल फिफ्टी सेकेंड एम सी क्यू दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन थर्मल एक्सपांशन ऑफ सॉलिड्स देर इज अ ट्रिक हेयर और अदर इफ यू डोंट रीड इट केयरफुली देर इज अ चांस देर इज अ वेरी हाई चांस दैट यू विल बी ending up marking the incorrect option okay so let's read the problem carefully and use the values an iron ring of radius 2.1 meter is to be fitted on the top of the rim of a wheel of radius 2.121 meters the coefficient of volume expansion of iron is 3.6 into 10 raised to negative 5 per kelvin by approximately how much should the temperature of the iron ring be increased so that it fits the rim of the wheel okay so uh, here the original radius let's call it r1 of the iron ring is 2.1 meter and we want this iron ring to fit on a wheel of radius slightly greater than this so let's call that as r2 that is 2.121 right we are not given the thickness of the ring okay we we don't know how thick it is but let's just uh, well let's take actually benefit of that to simplify our situation The coefficient of volume expansion for iron is 3.6 into 10 raised to negative 5 per kelvin, so that's gamma, 3.6 into 10 raised to negative 5. Uh, well, per kelvin. So we need to determine delta t. In, in our usual notation, we need to determine delta t. Okay. Now, because they have not given us the cross-sectional area, let us just assume that whatever change that is going to happen. that is that will happen only in the radius and that is important i think we must specify it as cross sectional area is not given okay as cross sectional area is not given we must assume we must assume that only r changes not the radius of the material of the ring radius of the ring itself okay only r changes so therefore we can write the basic equation r2 is equal to r1 into 1 plus alpha delta t okay what is r2 2.121 r1 is 2.1 into 1 plus alpha is given now this is what i was talking about they have given us gamma that's coefficient of volume expansion but here we want to use the coefficient of linear expansion because only radius is changing isn't it so instead of alpha we must rather if <laughs> instead of using gamma we must use alpha which is 3.6 into 10 raised to negative 5 divided by 3 okay gamma is 3 alpha or alpha is gamma by 3 right So that is one point two into ten raised to negative five, and we can put it now here. One point two into ten raised to negative five into delta t. Let's first take two point one on LHS. So two point one to one upon two point one is equal to one plus one point two into ten raised to negative five into delta t. Okay, let's do it. Two one two one by two one into ten uh, by one thousand. Right? We shifted this to right by three, so we have to divide by one thousand. We shifted this decimal point to right by one place, so it, we must multiply it by ten. Now, how much is twenty one twenty one upon twenty one? Is it not one zero one? Equal to one plus one point two into ten raised to negative five into delta t. Right? That will be one point zero. Right? One point zero. So this is one plus one point two into ten raised to negative five delta t. So what will be delta t? Delta t bring one here, so that will become zero point zero one. So zero point zero one upon One point two into ten raised to negative five. This is ten raised to mm, negative two. So when this goes to the numerator, it will become a thousand, right? A thousand. One one point two. 
और टेन थाउजेंड अपॉन ट्वेल्व और टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड अपॉन थ्री यस एंड हाउ मच इज दैट एट हंड्रेड समथिंग ओके सो दिस इज डेल्टा टी राइट सो डजेंट रियली मैटर वेदर इट इज इन कैलविन और इन सेल्शियस सो ऑप्शन इज बी करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज 